Welcome back to Girl Talk. We're filming here at Bella Domicile. We'll check in with them in a little bit. But first, we've got Kalal from Madison Geeks. Thanks for coming in Thank you for having and me bringing again. our eyewear. Of course, of course. You always know it's Madison Geeks time when we <laughs> yeah. put the glasses on. I feel no. smarter already. That's right. <laughs> I feel enlightened. Well, I always feel, yes, a little enlightened each time we see you because I learned something new. Um, this is something that I know nothing about. Ellen sounds like she's a little informed, but not, only slightly. Not me. <laughs> only slightly. So we're gonna go, we're gonna learn together today. Um, let's talk a little bit about Windows. And first, starting off with Windows Hello. Mm -hmm. I guess, in theory, is a neat feature, but it seems frustrating for a lot of people. Uh, do you have any tips to help people with this? Of course. Well, Windows Hello is a, a relatively new feature in the Windows 10 category. Okay. Um, what that introduces is what we've been kind of used to on our mobile devices lately. Um, what it allows for you to do is you can speak to it, and it will... It, so you, when you set up Windows 10, you, get, you give it a password so you can log into sure. it. Sure. Um, but it, it, remembering your password each time can be frustrating. So with phones now, you can do biometrics, which is the finger, the fingerprint. What Windows 10 Hello does is it can actually see your face, recognize that it's you. You can use your voice, and then also you can, you know, if you have a a laptop that has an actual fingerprint scanner or biometric scanner on there, it will be able to log you in with a touch of a, of a you wow. know, with your finger I as well. I can see how that yeah. could become frustrating yeah. though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, the setup is, is frustrating, that's the thing, is what okay. people sometimes buy it saying, oh, I got this cool new feature, but they're not, you know, there's no real easy path to, there's nothing really walking you through setting it up. Okay. So as Windows 10 gets better, they'll probably integrate it more, but right now you have to kind of go out and, and set it up, and what most people end up doing is just using their password after all. Sure. Yeah. I'm wondering if we would recognize me from Morning Janet, right. from the <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Right? Exactly. Does I'm picturing like a Mission Impossible laser, yep, like yep, scanning yep, yep. the face. It seems really cool though. Right, yeah. And I know that Windows also launched a new browser, and right. that's come up on my computer right now. So what's that like? So the, the new browser is called Edge. It's the, it's the, it's the Microsoft Edge browser. It's, it's different, it's new, mm -hmm. um, it's very lightweight, so the, the concept of it is that it's going to be easy to use and mainly used just for simple browsing. The problem is businesses can't really utilize it too well, it's not compatible with a lot of websites. Mm -hmm. uh, even just going to websites on your own, it's very difficult sometimes to, hmm. to use the, the Edge browser. So maybe over the next couple releases they'll update it, make it better, but uh, right now it's, it's, it's a new thing. I still recommend Google Chrome, sure. uh, Firefox as well, um, and uh, Internet Explorer was, was a mess for Microsoft, so this is kind of their refresh and their reattempt to make a browser that people are not uh, frustrated with. I'd hate sure. to go up against Google Chrome. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, there's a feature uh, that's called Cortana, and <laughs> actually it sounds like it's more of a who than a what? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Tell us about it. Well, if you're if you're not uh, uncomfortable with your computer talking to you, Cortana <laughs> is a uh, is the intelligence behind Windows 10. Well, it's the voice behind Windows 10. You can you can uh, speak to it. Certain machines will be designed to be able to to uh, call it out. So you can say Cortana and it will respond to you. Uh, Siri is the same on Apple. Okay. Uh, Amazon has the Echo, um, and uh, and uh, Google has Google Now. Um, so all these kind of browser slash operating systems are trying to introduce this this thing that talks back to you. Why are they women? <laughs> I, I, Smarter. I, 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 <laughs> there we go. Or I'm not going change. to fight you there. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Girl Talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, Windows 10, do they have parental controls real quick? They do, yes. Windows 10 definitely has parental controls. Um, I, you know, in, in, it depends what you need it for. Mm -hmm. if, you, if, you, if you set it up, it can be, you know, there's a lot of walkthroughs or give us a call and we can give you a walkthrough or set it up for you. But uh, mainly once it's set up, you can have it uh, block certain types of internet websites that you don't want your kids to access. Absolutely. Um, and, and you can kind of control the programs that they have access to, violent games, so forth. So um, there's a lot of options to do that with Windows 10. Seems like that would be an ever ending, never ending yeah, battle. Issue. Yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you, Kalal, for being here. Like I said, we always learn something new. Of course. Stay absolutely. tuned for more Girl Talk. We'll be right back after the break. 